Hey guys, meteorologist Doug Hedy. It is Monday midday, uh, almost. I hope you had a fantastic Easter weekend. We have pretty good weather. Of course, it was super windy on Friday. And then again, the winds really picked up once again for us yesterday as the storm system is rotating out. This is right on schedule. So today is actually day one of cycle number five of the LRC. Of course, the pattern that Gary Lezak and I, we've been working on for about 25, 30 years um, so if you want to check out Weather 2020, we have the new Global Predictor, which is going to be coming down here in a few weeks. And I'll, I'll make sure you guys see that because you can kind of plan anywhere you want to go for the summer into the fall months as it is a six-month forecast. Also, we have a big severe weather threat for us today. Uh, so if you do have severe weather, just be weather aware. We already know that we have a really good threat for severe weather. We know it's pretty likely. So now we just kind of want to break down what is going to happen and just make sure you have a plan just in case as we get into the middle of the afternoon, into the evening hours. A huge shout out to my boy, Superior Roofing and Construction, a four-state premier roofing contractor. They're family-owned, located Joplin, Missouri, 7th and High Street. So if we do have severe weather, because we do have a very high potential, very large hail later on today... Um, if you feel like you've seen some damage or wind damage, give them a call. In fact, mention my name because if you mention my name, they're going to give a certain percentage to the Christian Hetty Foundation, which, of course, uh, very near and dear to my heart. All right. So today we're not going to look long range. We're not going to look at eclipse weather, which is next week. We are simply going to take a look and see what is going to happen today as uh, this severe weather starts to roll in. So let's jump into it. Let's go. All right, let me switch screens here. All right, you can see uh, a lot of clouds. We have in the colder air, we have snow up through the Dakotas. We have uh, light showers, which have been developing across Missouri, Kansas, down through Oklahoma. And there's been a few embedded little thunderstorms that have rotated by. Uh, but besides that, not a whole bunch is going to happen over the next few hours. I really think thunderstorms get moving around 2 p.m. Um and those are going to go out along the dry line, which is kind of draped from Kansas City, Wichita, down west of Oklahoma City. So that's where thunderstorms are going to want to fire up as we get into the afternoon. All right. So in the orange, a pretty high risk for severe weather. Um, the dry line is really from Kansas City to Wichita to Oklahoma City. So if I even add on here, let's do this. Let's see if I can get this to draw. So if we go right back through here, so you see my white circle, and then all the way up towards St. Louis, this is where the highest, inside this circle, this is where the highest potential for tornadic activity is to occur, and I actually think it's going to be right in here. So southeastern Kansas, along the southeastern Kansas, northeastern Oklahoma state line, that's where the highest potential for anything tornadic this afternoon will be. Again, these storms are going to fire up. They're going to produce some large hail. <clears throat> my gosh, my allergy has been killing me. Large hail, very gusty winds. All right, so let's go to 2.30 p.m. At this point in time, we have thunderstorms, which are blossoming. So we're looking across southeastern Kansas, up toward Kansas City. Now, these guys are firing right along the dry line. So this is 2.30, so we're looking, you know, Yates Center, Chanute, uh, Fredonia, Neodache, down toward Bartlesville, and all the way up toward Kansas City. These will blow up, bust through the cap, and go severe very, very quickly. These storms will have the potential for very large hail. So we're talking two, three, four inch size hail, so that big of hail. Um, also, they're going to have that tornado potential. In fact, the tornado potential will increase a little bit more as we go into the evening hours as our upper level dynamics kind of uh, get moving a little bit more. So let's go back here. All right, so here's 4 p.m. Now we have the thunderstorms from Kansas City, north central parts of Missouri. Not a whole bunch is going on at this time in central Missouri, but you can see this band all the way back from Pittsburgh, Nevada, just north of Joplin. And again, I want to always explain this. A lot of people, they look at this and they say, oh, my house isn't going to get a storm because the future radar isn't showing it. The future radar is wrong. It's always wrong. It just gives you an idea because it's the future. It doesn't know exactly what's going to happen. It's showing you where it possibly could occur. So like if you look at your weather app, doesn't mean that 
if it has a storm on top of your house in six hours, you're going to have a storm on top of your house in six hours. It may be that one's going to be close to you in six hours. All right, so let's continue through. So these first batch pushes into West Central Missouri. So now we're looking at about 5 p.m. So showers, thunderstorms, uh, most likely very large hail threat and possibly uh, even a tornado threat now in Central Missouri, North Central parts of Missouri. I want you to focus on what's going on back toward the west, though. Once you get into central Kansas, down through parts of Oklahoma, along that dry line, we have more thunderstorms, which are now firing up. So now we got more severe thunderstorms just west of Tulsa to Oklahoma City. And these are lifting off toward the north and to the east at a pretty good rate as well. So batch one, two, three, four p.m., batch two after four or five p.m., as we continue into the evening hours. So now we're at about 7, 7.30, severe storms west of St. Louis through Columbia, Jeff City. These are mainly going to be hail makers. Kansas City to Wichita, you guys are right on that northern edge. You may get a severe thunderstorm, but most of it will stay east of the Wichita metro. Most of it will stay south of the Kansas City metro. So now at 7.30, we have this ginormous line from southeast Kansas through Joplin, Tulsa, all the way down through eastern parts of Oklahoma. These are going to be pushing now into northwest Arkansas. So finally now, northwest Arkansas, after 7 p.m., you guys start to get into the action. This type of line, um, because we're, after 7 p.m., we're not going to have as many supercells. The beginning of these storms, so like if we go back here, these guys clustering at 2 3, 4 p.m. These are going to have the more potential to be supercells with the large hail and possibly a few strong tornadoes. As we get into the evening, when this line kicks out, these are going to have more of a potential of being uh, very heavy rainmakers, very strong winds, large hail, but we may get some embedded tornadoes up within that line. We call them QLCSs. So severe threat continues. Here we are, 7.30. Let's continue through the evening hours. Storms continue to push east. So by 10.30, the Joplin Metro, Tulsa, Oak City, you guys are all clear of severe weather by 10.30, but still that severe threat is ongoing. Central Missouri, Springfield, Branson, Northwest Arkansas. And then finally, things start to calm down once we get later on tonight. Now we're just talking periods of rain across the region. So let me back up again. Let's go back one map. <clears throat> In the orange, highest severe threat really from Cincinnati, St. Louis, Joplin, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Van Buren, uh, all the way down to Dallas, northwest Arkansas. Highest tornado threat, I think, is right along that Kansas-Oklahoma state line and then pushing east. Thunderstorms erupt 1 or 2 p.m. this afternoon, mainly in southeastern Kansas. Drive northeast with that severe threat. Second band Fires up. Here's 5 p.m. Central Oklahoma pushes northeast into Joplin, northwest Arkansas, and then skirts across the state of Missouri and Arkansas, and then severe threat is done after this point in time. Now, cooler air is really going to work in behind this as well. Uh, behind these showers and thunderstorms that we see today, we still start with some showers in the morning. Tomorrow, a lot of clouds, but look at this. High temperatures are only going to go uh, into the lower 50s for highs by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon. So a lot to watch today. Of course, I'm going to be at uh, KOAM News. Uh, I'll get in there before the storms get moving. Um, if we do have severe weather, which I do expect, we'll stream on the KOAM YouTube page. Want to give you guys a breakdown. Of course, it is severe weather season. April and May are our biggest months that we see this time of uh, the spring. So, all right, guys, I'll keep you updated. Uh, just be safe. Stay pay, uh, pay attention to the weather and yeah. All right, guys. Happy April Fool's Day. This not a fool's joke though.